have you come to help? Indy. <laughs> Do you want a paintbrush? Oh. just finished work for the day I've worked a little bit later today so it's about six o'clock now um, and we're gonna have tea and then head to B&Q for some MDF and other DIY bits and bobs so I thought this would be a good time to film um, because we are basically doing a DIY wall panelling project in our hallways um, Grant's really good at DIY and I'm not too bad myself <laughs> but I thought that if we can do it anybody can do it so I just thought I'd film it um, and maybe do it as part of a series because we moved into our first home last summer last August September time we moved in in the middle of Covid um, so yeah we're slowly in the process making it our own and doing bits and bobs obviously we're on a bit of a budget so we're doing a lot of DIY projects on a budget so yeah I thought I would film this um, and see how it goes hopefully it goes well <laughs> but <laughs> we'll see <laughs> no I have I have all faith that it's gonna be it's gonna be really good when it's done so um, I'll try and show you so this is our hallway upstairs at the minute. Um, there is stuff everywhere. Because <laughs> we've already started. Oh, that's the oven. I've got mac and cheese and garlic bread in the oven for tea. Um, yeah, you'll, you can see down here too, this hallway has um, been started. Just gonna turn this off. So let's come in here. So we have already started in here actually, and I think we might have some footage from when we very first moved in. But all of this this wall and all the way back there it was all wallpaper so and the same upstairs so we've stripped all the wallpaper off the wall and then we have cleaned the wall um, used filler to fill in all the um, you can kind of you can see around here I don't know if it'll pick it up on the camera but we used filler to fill in a lot of the um, little bumps and uneven sections of the wall. So we filled them in, sanded it down, made sure that the wall was a nice smooth surface and well prepped to start painting. And then this, all of the top half of this wall here and the one upstairs, they have all had their coats of paint. So they will be staying this colour now. Um, and this is just Timeless by Dulux and this is the same colour that I have in my office and the bathroom version is in the family bathroom upstairs and the plan is to panel all the way along there and the same upstairs and we thought it would be easy we'd just use a online calculator to work out the panel in but because we've got this archway here and then we've got a pair of double doors here into our lounge and um, it's actually it was actually like just really confusing I mean last night we spent like a good couple of hours <laughs> trying to work out the figures um, to make the panelling work with the so it would basically be um, the even in terms of the size of the battens 
all the way along the wall because obviously there's different sections of wall which made it more difficult <laughs> and to say my day job is um, to do with finance, accounting, all that kind of thing it was a real struggle but luckily Grant's dad helped to um, he drew up some kind of CAD CAM designs for us and figured it out and saved the day so we're all set with our measurements now to go to B&Q and get the MDF so yeah hopefully we should be able to get cracking with this now um, and start getting things kind of put back together because there's uh, there's paintings, paint rags, dust sheets everywhere so yeah it'll be really nice to get this done because I think the hallway is obviously the first area you see in somebody's house and hopefully with the Covid restrictions lifting we might be able to have more friends and family come to visit because we've not been able to have a housewarming yet or anything like that um, so yeah, really excited to get cracking and we'll try and film as much as we can and see how it turns out. I've just stopped filming but Grant and Indy have just got back from their walk. Oh, here they are. Indy started this thing where sometimes she doesn't want to come in after a walk now. She just likes to sit outside. She was fine and then we got onto the top field and it was just like this when we started heading back it was just like this, I don't know what you would call it like a brown, what do you call it? Like every floppy ears anyway just like this dog, this quite large dog that were just being playful but it just kind of like spooked her it didn't come anywhere near her which was the weird thing she just saw it from a distance didn't you? and oh. I don't think she liked it and after that she just weren't the same really Oh. There were these two little dogs that went past, didn't they? And she laid down. Oh. She like laid down. They didn't get come. a bit nervous. They didn't come anywhere near, and then it took ages to get down the hill because she kept freezing, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Get a bit nervous. And then we got to the the go on, that bridge, that great the cattle grid. Yeah, and they were like some girls sat on the rocks, and she very like. Very carefully approached, but then wouldn't come across the bridge. She was just like looking at him. They, oh, they moved out of the way, dear. so I just explained to him she was a rescue, and I, I picked her up and carried her across. Oh, she get nervous. And oh, it's okay. um, we're on field, and then slowly but surely we made his way back up, mm -hmm. haven't we? Yeah. You didn't even want a treat, did you? Oh. No. She still gets nervous with certain situations and certain And she's had a busy people. day today. Yeah, she's had a busy day. Oh, we were at the vets this morning, first thing. Oh, she doesn't even want a tree. Okay. Yeah, see? You're okay. Yeah. <laughs>
so we've got to the point of doing the panelling now and I hired a panelling specialist to come in and do it for us. How many years experience do you have? Zero. Oh, zero years experience. Very cheap. Great. Question. Do you want to talk talk through the process, Grep? Uh, the process is just nailing the shit out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping that it works. So Grat is loading up his nail, his nail gun, Eat. and nailing the panelling onto the wall. Eat. And, and why are we doing it this way, Beth, instead of is, one else? Um, what in case we decide to take it off. In a few years. Rip all the plaster off, won't it? Yeah, so Gret's already got the panels measured out to size and we're putting them on here and we've literally got a landing full of tools and dust sheets. And Indy, yes! What are you doing? What are you doing? You just hanging out? Yeah. So we're gonna put <clears throat> panel here, here, um, and we have gone for the gentle fawn. So this shade for the panels. Um, radiator will be going back on there, and a little shelf. Then mirror and an entryway organiser there. Are you just hanging out? Hey? Hi. Blip. Blip. Good girl. Blip. I don't know why she really likes that sound. Blip. Good girl. Yeah. Good job. Good job! Yeah! Good girl! Nice. Yeah! Oh, do you want to do me scratch now? like forever since I last picked up the camera to talk about our hallway and panelling and we finally had some progress and we are nearly finished now so we've just got back from a walk and this morning we just did the primer on the MDF boards so we've done them all down here and upstairs and now all is left to do is paint, which is exciting. 
we just need to paint and then put our bits and bobs back on the walls and then we're done. Oh gosh, I don't even know how long it's been. But as you can see, we've got a new mirror up and hello. Hello. Got your curtain on. Oh, I know. <laughs> but as you can see, we've got our new mirror up and we are pretty much finished in the hallway finally. So I thought I would just wrap this video up um, and just show you what it looks like. I think this video is going to be a bit all over the place, but I hope you enjoy it. Maybe it gives you some ideas. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I know you want to go for a walk, don't you? Hey. Oh, if you watch, um, if you watch, if you follow us on Instagram, then you will have seen that Indy went in for her spay operation. So she is now Thursday, Friday, Saturday, day four into wearing the cone. And she hates it, bless her. She really wants to go out for a walk. She just keeps looking at the front door. <laughs> but we've got a week left. Yes, one week left and then you can go out. Okay? So here is the hallway downstairs. We've got the panelling all finished up. The doors are back on, painted with new door handles. So yeah, there we go. So we got this mirror from, uh, this was from the range and it was only £10. It was a random find. And then these hooks, I think we got a six pack of those from Amazon for about £5. And I really love these. We got a couple um of these palette ledgers palette shelves um off etsy and i think they are supposed to be used for picture ledgers but because our hallway is quite narrow it's the perfect depth to use to put our keys on and um, put you know coffees down when we first come through the door and then we've obviously got the panel in which we finished off and to be honest I wasn't completely convinced by the colour when we'd finished it we used Gentle Fawn by Dulux and the um, pink undertones really come through um, and it's not particularly the tone that I wanted but I am actually growing to really like it so We'll see, we're going to keep it as it is for now, um, but yeah, it's such an improvement on what it was before, it just feels a lot more us, and it feels a lot more bright and open, so yeah, we're really chuffed with it, we're really happy with how it came out, I think Grant did such a good job with the panel and he did it all on his own, pretty much, um, so yeah, there we go, there's our update. There's our update, hey? Yeah. Oh. But yeah, I hope that you liked this video. I know it's probably been a bit all over the place, but she got a crow's post. A crow's post? Her paws crossed is what I meant to say. <laughs> Very ladylike. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's probably been a bit all over the place, but we're really happy with it. I hope it maybe gives you a bit of inspo. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.